What's up, Asgardian? It's me, Notice. My name is Myrtle. From the Asgard Meta Guild, back again with another Asgard Meta Guide. In this video, we'll be sharing with you tips and tricks to help you increase your Axie Infinity MMR and earn more SLP. We also do more guides like this as well as other NFT content. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be updated with our new videos. Also, be sure to watch until the end of the video as we announce the winner of our scholarship promo. So, are you ready to go from a newbie to a pro? Notice, let's dive in. While this sounds basic, a lot of players don't actually take time to quickly check your opponent's card and you should. Usually, players skip the first round in the arena to help save energy for the next rounds. Instead of tapping skip right away, use the timer instead to check on your opponent's Axie stats and cards and plan your move early on. Don't just focus on the cards and special abilities too. Take note of other stats like speed and morale and also card energy costs. Speed determine which axes attack first during a round, while morale helps determine critical strike chance. The higher these two stats are, the better. Also, take note of special combo cards that your opponent might have in their deck. Card combos usually bring additional and special ability effects during battle like short critical strikes, additional shields, stunning enemy axes, and even stealing or destroying your energy. Speaking of energy, Myrtle, what's the second tip? Energy counting is also one key skill that Axie players have to take note of. Energy is what makes you use your cards in a battle. In Axie Infinity's arena battles, you start with 3 energy and gain 2 every next round. However, once used, this energy will never recharge, meaning that if you use all of your 3 energy on the first round, you're only left with 2 on the next round. This rule applies to your opponent as well. So, knowing how much energy he has will let you know how many cards they can play during a round. It may sound difficult, but it's actually easy. Just like in our first tip, take note of what cards your enemy has and their card cost and base your count from there. For example, if your opponent team has a lineup of all axes with cards, that are one energy cost, each skips the first round. Then, they still have their three energy from the beginning of the battle. In the next round, they get two additional energy, meaning that they now have five energy in total. This means that they can play a total of at least five cards in this round. If they choose to play all five cards, each with one energy cost, then they will only have two energy for the next round. But if they don't, and for example, they only use two cards, each with two energy cost, then we'll still have five energy for the next round. It's also very important to note of cards with zero energy cost and cards that can destroy, steal, or gain energy when doing your calculations. See? Now, who says Axis just pin dot pin dot lang? <laughs> Did you know that in Axe Infinity, you can predict what cards your opponent can use next? Yes, you can. Well, sort of. In Axe Infinity Battles, your total deck of cards includes 24 cards. Each Axe has 4 cards, and each card can be used twice in a round bringing the total to 8. Multiply it by 3 axes and you have 
24 cards. But how do you try and predict what comes next? Well, if an opponent uses the same card twice, they will have to wait for all of the cards on their deck to be used before they can use that card again. So for example, if your opponent team use both one type of card like two vegetable bite cards, then they will have to go through the rest of their 22 cards before it gets added back to their hand again. Now, this does not actually let you predict what cards your opponent will use exactly, but it can give you a good idea of what they have on their hand. By knowing which cards are taken out, you'll know what currently is left, and that helps you prepare for your next move. Axis has different classes, and each type has their own different abilities, advantages, and disadvantages, as well as effects against other Axis, just like Pokemon. Aquatic class axes deal 15% damage against beast class axes, while bird class axes deal 15% less damage against plant class axes, and so on. Of course, not every one of us can just switch axe teams when we want, or even swap axes before the start of each match. But knowing which axe classes are weak or strong against each other, gives you a better idea when it comes to attacking. Damage values in your cards will not always be 100% the same with your actual damage. You can deal either less or more damage depending on the Axie that you are attacking. This can be very crucial in many situations where one card difference can actually turn the game around in yours or your opponent's favor. Picture something like this. You have an aquatic axie attacking a plant axie with relatively low HP. It doesn't have a shield, so you chose to go with four cards. But after your attack, it turns out that you need five cards to take the enemy axie out. Because you did not consider the axie triangle when trying to calculate for your damage. Now, your opponent can block off another attack and you will be forced to use more energy again instead of saving up now you're suddenly at a disadvantage situations like this can be a hard lesson to learn but there is one way of learning and using all of these tips while not losing any energy on MMR and that is by practice Yes, just like any other game, practice makes perfect. Always set aside some time to practice your Axie lineup and battle strategies before or after completing your dailies. And you don't even have to fear of losing MMR. Just take advantage of the new friendly battle feature. Hop on to some matches with your friends and guildmates, practice your energy card counting skills, and get that MMR pumping to the moon. And that's it! We hope that you learned something valuable today and we hope that we help you get good in Axie Infinity. Also, just like we promised, we are on that part of the video where we announce the winner of our scholarship giveaway. And that winner is... Congratulations! For our viewers, you too can win on our next giveaway. How? Very easy. Just share your thoughts in the comments about this video and make sure to follow the mechanics. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. Until next time, see you in the metaverse.